Uh, welcome uh, to our workshop on informing environmental health decisions through data integration. My name is Kim Buckelhide. I'm a co-chair of the Emerging Science for Environmental Health Decisions, along with Melissa Perry. And we welcome you to this venue, and we welcome uh, those who are online uh, to this workshop. Um, I, I have several slides just to tell you about who we are, uh, what the committee is, uh, the Emerging Science for Environmental Health Decisions Committee, uh, and then introduce the data integration workshop topic to you. Um, but it's, a, you know, it's just really great to have uh, so many friends uh, come back to these workshops and all of you participate. Um, this uh, Emerging Sciences Committee has been around for approximately a decade. Uh, I have been involved with it for the last seven or eight years in two different roles. First as a committee member, um, seven, six, five years ago, and then as a co-chair for the last couple years. And the goal of this committee is really horizon scanning, looking at those issues in science and research that are emerging that can impact the way we think about and apply the science that we do. Uh, so this is really an incredible opportunity for us uh, as a committee and as a group to think through uh, these topics. Uh, it's, it, you know, we get to come up with workshop ideas, develop them, mature them over a period of months and even years, and then share uh, insights and have experts talk to us about you know, their thinking on these topics and how they might change the way we do science going forward. Uh, so it's been a wonderful opportunity for me to be involved, and I appreciate all of you participating in what, and as well. Uh, so on this slide, you can see uh, the goals of this committee to facilitate communication, examine scientific exam uh, uh, advances, and really then apply them uh, in environmental health decision contexts. Uh, and we're very grateful for the support of the National Institutes of Environmental Health Sciences to allow uh, this committee to do its work uh, over the years that, have, uh, that we've been able to do our work. Uh, so the committee, this is a list of the committee members. Uh, Melissa Perry is not able to be here this morning, but she'll join us uh, later on. She and I are co-chairs of the committee. Uh, the committee has, uh, you know, a dozen or so members from a very mixed background. You know, we have academics, we have uh, state representatives from departments of health, um, we have industry representatives and uh, non-governmental agency representatives. I'm not going to read through the names, uh, uh, but you know this committee has worked very hard on a number of workshop topics and has you know really done a terrific job. Uh, and there's a subcommittee that I'll speak to in a moment that has actually done the work of developing uh, this workshop on data integration. Uh, so here are some topics of past uh, committee workshops, um, and it's a very broad range. Uh, if you look at the titles, so um, human genomic plasticity, health risks of climate change, uh, the microbiome in environmental health, um, the uh, exposome, uh, which really emerged as a topic here uh, and is really now very dominant uh, in our thinking. Um, individual decision-making, susceptibility, there have been a variety of topics, dozens and dozens of topics over the lifetime of this committee, and it's made a huge contribution to, I think, uh, the thinking uh, in this uh, area of science. So if you have an idea for a future topic, we're always scanning forward. Uh, look in the meeting book, uh, there's some ideas there, but then also just send your ideas uh, to the committee. You can send them to uh, me or to, the, uh, you know, to alert the committee uh, staff uh, about any ideas that you think might be emerging and useful for us to pursue. So the data integration topic is one uh, that has really matured over six months to a year and a half or so. And uh, this is the working group that developed this workshop. Uh, myself, 
uh, and uh, Margaret Carragas, Patrick McMullen, Donna Mendrick, and Gina Solom Solomon as members of the Emerging Sciences Committee, helped by experts who, in the area, Chris Jennings, uh, David Reif, and Lance Waller, who are also speaking in this workshop and helped organize the topics. So how do you grasp a topic uh, so large as data integration, put some boundaries on it, and make it uh, have focus and impact? Uh, we really struggled with that idea, worked very hard, uh, and you will see the product of that work uh, over the next day and a half. Uh, we, you know, we're aware of the big data implications. I mean, in my own research, I'm doing 3D microtissue confocal imaging studies now with an incredibly capable instrument that generates about 100 gigabytes of data in an hour. And then you have to do something with it, right? I mean, 100 gigabytes of data is a lot of data to manage. Uh, and then integrate it with decision-making processes makes that even more difficult. But we decided not to just focus on big data. We want to focus on all the avenues of data that are coming to us now in many, many different ways and how we can actually make use of those data streams, integrate them, uh, and turn them into important information that we can use uh, in decision-making processes. And that is the workshop that we'll be sharing with you uh, today. So thank you to the committee for your efforts in uh, developing this workshop. And also a big call out to the staff, um, particularly Ben Winder and Liz Boyle, who were integral in allowing you know, us to succeed in putting this workshop together. So uh, uh, as a final uh, note, just a few housekeeping uh, items. Uh, turn off your phones. Um, if you want to make a comment, there will be plenty of time for discussion. Uh, there are microphones in the room. Uh, go to one of the microphones on either side of the room. First say your name and where you're from, and then go forward with your comment and or question. Uh, for those of you online, you have an opportunity to raise your hand online, uh, and we will make uh, collect uh, notes from you and then call out your questions to the group for discussion. Uh, we welcome your participation. Um, the ideas and discussion that's happening, happening here is from individuals, not from the organizations that they are coming from. Um, and they aren't the opinion of the National Academy of Sciences, uh, but they are just the expressions of opinions by individuals. Um, there will be a summary of this workshop that will come out in the spring, uh, so look forward to that. Uh, and we very much appreciate your participation.